It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Siren Craft Brew. It's a collaboration with a company called Bean Nectar Mead Cider Beer and it's their Uncle Zester Sour Citrus Braggot coming in at 8.5% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get this wonderful sounding beer out into a glass and see what we get. Loads of smoke on the opening. At this stage of the review, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, Beers of Europe.co.uk. Um, beers of Europe are the largest online beer store in the UK. Lots of cracking beer from all over the world. If you've been away on holiday, if you've worked away and you've tried that wonderful, perfect beer that you want to try back in the UK, then the best place you're going to find it, if anywhere, is Beers of Europe.co.uk. So, beer in the glass, uh, I was watching while I was talking, it started to create a one finger head which dissipated very quickly. I'm not surprised by that at all because it's a mead. It's a kind of a, a stroke between a beer and a mead. It's very traditional. Uh, well, they call it a braggart, but I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure a braggart is a style of mead. It's a very old style of beer. So, sour citrus braggart. It certainly looks kind of old school, doesn't it? Nice levels of carbonation. Hazy golden coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. Oh, blimey, what's this? It smells like it's the closest thing ever to like orange peel coated in honey. That smells wonderful. I'm going to dive in. Cheers, everyone. Oh. Oh, wow. Super, super sour. Wow. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it's creasing the old face up. I can almost feel my face doing that whole kind of crisp bag in a fire thing where it kind of just crisps up into nothing. Crinkles up. I can feel my face crinkling up with this beer. Super, super sour. But it's got a wonderful, wonderful mouthfeel. It's almost a little bit syrupy with that honey. Lots of that honey. A little bit of dryness on the back end. Lovely carbonation. But then boom, that sourness comes in. And I think sourness at the moment is doing what hoppy, hoppy bitterness used to do about three years ago to me. Three, four, maybe even five years ago. That new experience of super bitter hop beers. Sour beers are kind of taking that place of it. It's it's just that whole how sour can we make a beer and make it feasible and make it drinkable and make it make it that people want to talk about it online and and yeah and get people darn excited like I am just now. And yeah, this is this is a wonderful, wonderful beer. Oh, it's sour, crazy, crazy sour. This beer. They need to. Begin, I think what they need to do is come up with like an IBU scale, like like the international bittering units, and come up with a kind of a sourness scale to a hundred. Um, whether somebody's thought of that, I don't know. Um, but I think this would be right up there on the sour charts um, in terms of sourness. But it's a it's a very interesting way to bring up into the modern era an, a, a typical. Kind of, this is this is a beer that somebody picked up out of the the history books. A braggart, a braggart stroke mead. It, it's something very old, very ancient, and and it's taken a, a a top quality British beer producer to turn it on its head and make it very kind of modern, an old style modern. It's lovely. It's really lovely. I'm going to rate it. Oh. 
But before I do, just quickly, uh, what's a bracket you asked? It's a beer brew with honey and malt, a beer mead hybrid, if you will. Uh, when we met Brad and B Nectar, a Copenhagen beer celebration in 2014 and tasted his mead, we knew we had to get him over to the UK to brew with us. The result is an absolute zest fest. Yeah, absolutely. Certainly is. Look at that. Rating. Rating for this beer then. If the clouds want to move out of the way. There we go. Um, I'm going to rate this beer. I'm going to give this beer... There we are. A 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.